my dear friends today i am taking question number 7 first paper fifth semester who is an indigent person discuss the mode for the institution of the shoot as in as an indigent person my dear friends i want to make it clear that the definition of indigent person indigent persons are those persons who are poor poor persons are called indigent persons this facility is given by the government to the poor person they can file a suit in the court without court fees so this is the question and now i am taking the definition of indigent person according to order 33 and rule 1 a person is an indigent when he has not when he has not sufficient means to pay the court fees for the plaint in the suit my dear friends as i have told you that this facility is only given to the poor persons they can file this suit in the court without co without the payment of court fees so what is order 33 the order object of order 33 to help the person this is the order which helps the poor person order 33 helps the poor person who are too poor to pay court fees and to bring and prosecute suit without payment of court fees i think the concept is clear about indigent person so indigent indigent persons can file a suit in the court without the payment of court fees now the procedure what is the procedure or what is the mode of payment what is the mode of institution of a suit as an indigent person or you can say procedure to sue as an indigent person now what is the procedure procedure i am taking step wise step 1 in order to sue as an indigent person the plaintiff shall make an application to the court in writing first indigent person have to made an application have to make an application to court in writing giving the particulars of the plaint in the suit what is plaint plaint means the subject matter in the suit and schedule of applicants movable and immovable properties with their values my dear friends in step first in order to see an show an indigent person the plaintiff shall make an application to the court in writing first giving the particulars of the plaint in the suit and schedule of applicants movable and immovable properties with their values these things have to be mentioned in the plaint or in the application so i am taking step 2 step second my dear friends step second it shall be signed and verified as a plaint and it shall be presented by the applicant or his agent under order 33 and rule 2 and 3 the application which was made by the plaintiff to present in the court that application should be signed and verified as a plaint and it shall be presented by the applicant or his agent under this order and under this rule so 
I think step two is clear. Ste in step three, in, consider in considering the question of indigence, the court considers the matter as it stands at the date application is made. The question of indigence, or the question of his being a poor, will be considered at the date on the which application is made. Step 4. Court does not allow plaintiff to sue in forma pauperis without offering, affording defendant an opportunity to prove the, prove that plaintiff is not indigent. This is the condition. This condition is the plaintiff, there is no need to prove that he is indigent. It is the duty of the court to check or to investigate that he is an indigent person. Step 5. Application to sue as indigent cannot be disposed without deciding the fact of pauperism. My dear friends, application of an indigent person cannot be cancelled, cannot be rejected without the fact of, without deciding the fact of pauperism. This is the duty of the court. Step second, once application to sue as an indigent person is admitted. Here, see, once the application is admitted, the plaintiff can only be disappeared under section 33 and rule 9, which is mentioned in, mentioned in the application. These terms and conditions have been mentioned in the application by the indigent person. So, I am taking step 7th. My dear friends, step 7, if during the trial of the shoot, it appears to the court that the plaintiff have, has got no cause of action, the shoot will be dismissed and he will not be merely popper. If anything found against the applicant, or against the plaintiff, the cause may be anyone, the suit will be dismissed. In this step, this is the condition and he will not be merely popped. Step second, every application for permission to sue form a pauperis shall contain the particulars required in regard to plaints and suit, everything is to be mentioned in the plaint so that the shoots will be moved according to the plaint which is given by the plaintiff. Step second, nine, a schedule of any movable and immovable property belong to the applicant with the estimated value shall be annexed and it shall be signed and verified in the manner prescribed for the signing and verification of pleadings under order 33 and rule 2. My dear friends, step second is, step nine is very clear to you. Every property of plaintiff, whether it is movable or immovable, the proof of that property will be annexed with the plaint and this proof shall be signed and verified in the manner prescribed. What is, uh, it means under the rule. He has to 
signed and verified that plaint of pleadings under the order 33 and rule 2nd this is the statement which is which will be given by the plaintiff with the plaint and this statement must be verified and signed according to the order 33 and rule 2 now next proceeding of the court on the application because application has been presented in the court now court will decide now the court will see whether the application is right or wrong or according to the application he is eligible to he is eligible to show this case as an indigent person or not first procedure if the application is admitted first if the application is admitted then what will be the procedure i am going to mention in this point my dear friends when the application is allowed in the court where the application is allowed it shall be numbered first it shall be numbered and then registered and shall be considered to be the plaint and that application will be considered as a plaint in the suit and the suit shall proceed like a suit instituted in the ordinary course now it means the suit will be proceed like the other suits like the ordinary suits except that the plaintiff shall not have to pay any court fees and other charges have to paid have to be paid and it means the court fees is only allowed not to pay but other charges the plaintiff has to pay will have to pay certainly there are so many other charges the fees of the lawyer and other charges he has to pay certainly now the subject matter of the suit what is the subject matter of the suit where a question arises as to whether a person claiming to sue as a pauper has property with rupees 1000 neither the value of property nor the value of his necessary wearing apparel will be taken into account this is the most important condition of this subject matter the indigent person should not have must not have the property of 1000 more than property of 1000 rupees and this value will be considered from his movable and immovable properties and also other a necessary wearing apparel will be taken into account and it means all the properties of indigent person and all other uh, facilities or other means in the house should not exceed to the 1000 rupees now realization of the court fees the court fees which was exempted by the court how this fees can be realized under this order and under this rule this fees court fees can be realized in three ways now first if the indigent person wins the suit this is the first condition if the indigent person wins the suit because the condition may be other he can fail in the suit the suit can be disposed of there are so many condition but first condition is if the indigent person wins the suit the amount of court fees shall be first charged and shall be recoverable by the government from the party order to pay the same 
the party which has to be paid the the amount which is to be paid by the party from that amount the fees will be charged this is the first condition now i am taking second condition my dear friends second condition there are three condition as i have told you first condition if the indigent person wins so i have told about the when the indigent person wins the case now this is the second condition if the indigent persons shoot fails there may be this reason so how what were the what the reason may be he is dispopper or it is dismissed due to some other reason the court fees shall not be paid by him there are so many reason, reasons when shoots fails the court fees will be paid by him this is the condition when the shoot fails the court fees will be paid by the plaintiff or the indigent person third if the shoot abates this is the different reason if the shoot abates on account of death of plaintiff this is the third case the death of the plaintiff may be so in this case the court order the fees court fees to be realized from the estate of the deceased of the indigent person so this is the third condition fees will be realized from the estate of the deceased the indigent person now one thing i want to tell you these were all the reasons for the when the application is admit admitted by the court but it it is possible there are positive and negative possibilities are there in each and every aspect if the application is rejected then what are the reasons of rejection why the application of an indigent person is rejected by the court rejection of application reason of rejection there are five reason of rejection where it is not framed under and presented under these rules if the violation of the in the presentation of an application rule 2 and 3 the application will be rejected second where the applicant is not the indigent person any it means indigent person has fraudulently said that i am indigent but if he is he is not indigent the application may be rejected third where he has within two months next before the presentation of the application disposed of property fraudulently to get the benefit of the case if indigent person fraudulently dispose of his property before filing the case so that he may get the benefit of the indigent person this is the fraud done by the indigent person so in this case the case may be rejected application may be rejected fourth where any other person has entered into agreement with him to finance the litigation he is not paying the fees in the court and also he has made some arrangement by another person to make an agreement finance the litigation one person other person is also financing the litigation and he is also not paying the fees in the court this double matter how is it possible so in this case application also can be rejected fifth where his allegation do not show any cause of action allegation of the plaintiff are not sufficient to show the case so my dear friends these are the five condition in which the application of the plaintiff can be rejected 
and uh, in the last my dear friends i want to make a request to you please subscribe the subscribe the channel i shall be very thankful to you